All right. Sorry. Uh, so this is Bob Glowacki calling in. Uh, like I said, you started at Iona College and you moved across these to go to college. Now, where did you go? Where are you going to yeah, college? I'm, now? Going, I'm going to uh, the University of the West of England. It's uh, it's in Bristol in England and in, in the United Kingdom. So, yeah, it's pretty. It's a small city, but uh, it's really nice. Dude, that's exciting. And what are you studying? Uh, I'm getting my master's degree in wildlife filmmaking. Right, uh, dude, that's cool. And what, what made you want to go into that? Because that's a very specific thing. So, was there something in your childhood or in your adult life? Like, what made you say, "I want to go study this across the world from where I grew up"? Yeah, so I, I mean, I guess uh, I grew up in New Hampshire, in like rural New Hampshire, by the seacoast, by the ocean. So you know, spending time at the beach, spending time in the woods, and and then I went to Iona and. Uh, being in the city so much made me really miss, you know, nature and wildlife and oh yeah, for all sure. All that. So I and then at Iona I studied uh, TV video production. Uh, then I also studied environmental studies and history. So right. wildlife filmmaking was a way I could sort of combine all of the three and my interests together to in a to do a job where I can travel and do like film things that I love. So very cool. And do you have any? upcoming projects that you're working on or that we can expect to see and if so where would we be able to view that content yeah so um i mean i have a vimeo page with uh some some of my video projects on there haven't done anything quite recently um but i i've done uh if you go to my vimeo it's vimeo.com slash uh, backslash robert glowacki um and I'll give that to you so you can send it out. But also, my my big project coming up soon is uh, I'm making a film called Bringing Back Bodrick, and I'm going to be traveling to Slovakia uh, for three weeks to film uh, these dogs that shepherds use in the mountains to guard their sheep. Oh, that's really from cool! Wolves and bears. And so, um, yeah, it's and, and it's successful. Film. The dogs are successful from defending the sheep from bears. Yeah, so the, the the angle I'm taking on the story is that uh, the, these dogs used to be trained in such a way that they could stand up to bears and wolves, um, and they, it's kind of a tradition that's slowly falling down as, as modernization happens, but um, people want to bring the dogs back, so uh, yeah. it's going to be suc- more successful in the future if we learn how to train the dogs properly. Oh, for sure. That's so. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'll definitely watch that. That's so cool. And interesting. Yeah, and so um, that, that'll probably be out in uh, September is when uh, I'm planning on finishing that because I'm filming in May and editing it uh, throughout the summer because right. our course sort of prepares us. It's in one year, learning everything about the industry um, here in Bristol, and then we actually go and make a film. Uh, so it's a really good one-year quick way to learn what you need to know. Oh, for sure, especially in getting hands-on experience, I think, is definitely a great opportunity but you know some programs don't give you as much so i think to be out there in the field working on projects is will be more useful to you in the long run for sure so like we said you like i said like you said you grew up in the u.s and now you moved over there is there any distinct cultural differences that you find in your day-to-day life or any experiences in the past that you know you're just like oh wow that's so different than how what what i've grown up to experience in good or bad ways yeah so i mean um i think uh like the u.s is is sort of very culturally diverse like because it has so many states and everyone in the states is uh uh, like different states are different from each other and the people in them are different um and um like i i've been here in europe and in the uk it's uh it's sort of like that there's lots of diversity but over here, um, there's so much more culture going on. I think because uh, because it's a city in England. There's lots of, like obviously British people, um, Irish people, Scottish people, um, but there's also people from all over the world. Because uh, in the European Union, people can live and work there. So um, some some I guess the cultural differences I've noticed. Uh, Americans seem to be more laid back um, uh, than British people may be. Also, um, British people use a lot more sarcasm. Uh, and um, another thing that's almost funny sometimes is how polite British people are. So in, in the U.S., if you're at a crowd at some market, people are just going to push through and get where they're going. 
But uh, I went to a uh, I went to a market in the UK, and everyone was standing in lines, being really polite, and like it took forever to get yeah. where I was going because yeah, everyone you'd... like waited in line and stuff. You you would never see that at Walmart, that's for sure. That's... Yeah, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> um, and that's that's another thing that's different is uh, I haven't really found much many stores like Walmart, and uh, shops here are, are much smaller. Um, and all of the food items you can get are like smaller quantities. Really, no Walmart. Well. So the no Walmart, no yeah. Target. Jeez. Yeah, it's a rough life. That's a rough life. Where no, you? no Dunkin' Donuts. No Dunkin' so Donuts. Yeah. No du- Well, I mean, America runs on Dunkin', so Great Britain. Yeah. I mean, but uh, but ironically, uh, in Bristol here and other parts of England, uh, there's a store called the Boston Tea Party. So I guess they like to be reminded <laughs> of. <laughs> That's Us that's really tea over them. Oh wow, that's so. really funny. Oh man. Yeah. Um well oh dude, that's so funny. So um <clears throat> so thank you so much, Bob, for joining with us. Um Yeah, no problem. I I'd just like to add, you know, um for the the kids that I own and other people listening, you know, if uh if you have the opportunity to study abroad, it's it's a really good opportunity. Um to go travel if it's during your undergrad or for your master's because you meet lots of people from around the world and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity. And, and Iona can prepare you for, for going to do that stuff. All right. Well, thanks, Bob. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling in. I know you're busy, and uh, the fact that you got to call in and talk about your experiences and hopefully maybe influence some people to do what you're doing uh, means the absolute world to me and the people listening. So thank you so much for taking yeah, time man. out of your well, day, thanks man. Thanks for having me, Tommy. No problem. See one ya. one love, dude. Talk to you soon. Yeah, Take man. care. Okay. Yeah, see you.